Mass protests are always challenging for police. It's a challenge New York City Police Commissioner Bill Bratton knows well. Today we showed him our video of recent demonstrations in Manhattan. Here's Jerika Duncan. What are you telling those officers when people are in their face or things get a little tense? We do several things. One, uh, the buddy system. If you see somebody starting to respond to the provocation, get them out of there. Most demonstrations in Manhattan have been peaceful, but there have been around 300 arrests and violent confrontations. We're currently investigating the incident in Staten Island where one of our sergeants was punched in the face by a masked uh, agitator. Eric Garner, Michael Brown, shut it down, shut it down. So when I joined the Boston Police in 1970, just back from Vietnam, I spent the next 10 years in Boston on the demonstration lines for the anti-war movement for the civil rights movement, which were horrific events, phenomenal amounts of violence. So as I watch what's going on here now, I'm uh, heartened by the fact these very large demonstrations have been, by and large, relatively nonviolent. Commissioner Bratton commends his officers for showing restraint. Some protesters disagree. My name is Michael David Rosen. I'm not resisting arrest. Justice! What do you think about the diversity within the crowd? Out of this, the positive is that uh, whites and blacks and Latinos are able to come together around an issue of cause. Uh, I wish we went around the police, because the police, I think, in some respects, are being unfairly maligned here for a lot of the ills of society. It's very difficult to uh, work day to day as a police officer to find yourself under attack. My mission is really to keep them focused, keep them out of harm's way, keep the city out of harm's way. Commissioner Bratton says his department does not keep the same officers on the front lines too long. Jeffy says it's important to get officers away from the frustration of not being able to respond to taunts and verbal assaults being directed against them. Jerika, thank you.